So probably ill-advisedly, I am starting a new project. Um, I actually can't wait on this one though because it's gonna have to be completed before the sheetrock happens. So I'll show you kind of what I'm doing and how I'm figuring it out as I go. Our new house has a series of closets in it. The first one I'm gonna show you is my mom's room. What's gonna be my mom's room? And her closet here. Now, I uh, did not have the builders frame in the closet doors because what I'm doing here is I'm gonna add loft space in this closet so that they can be accessed from the outside with some cabinet doors that I was given. So I'm doing that because personally, it drives me a little bit crazy to have to kind of duck up inside a closet to uh, reach that top shelf. So instead of making the top shelf hidden, which uh, it would be if the builders had framed this in, I'm gonna put covered doors on the outside so I can access it comfortably without craning my neck or cricking my spine or any of that jazz. So this one is in Clara's room and it's right inside her door and right there. Our next step is to figure out exactly how much lumber we're talking about. I'm gonna be working in two by fours. So this is all two by four dimensions. And I just kind of made some rough sketches here with what I'm planning to do. Um, I won't walk you through my chicken scratch. I'll show you it as I build probably, but it's a good idea to plan these things out before you start building or go to the lumber store so that you don't come up short. I've learned that lesson the hard way before. So here I've got my figures of the linear inches of lumber that I'm going to need. And really, <clears throat> I'm not a framer, but I'm copying what I see that the builders did in the rest of the house. In particular, I'm copying what they did in uh, terms of the pantry and whatnot. So I'm going to be kind of uh, duplicating this form. So I've calculated all of the linear inches that I needed. And then I uh, included how many of each board. And then I multiplied it out and got my sums. I added it all up, divided that final figure, which I did not write down because it was big and ugly and I was on my phone's calculator anyway, by 12 because there's 12 linear inches in a uh, foot. And I wound up with needing 183.79 linear feet. I figured on eight foot long uh, boards. And I did that because my biggest span is 60 inches. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna end up with a bunch of kind of useless scrap because I am gonna need some of the um, boards to go up and down. I'll show you that as I build it. Anyway, I'm gonna need 23 eight foot two by fours. Now, step two, <clears throat> these are the hardware stores that are within a accessible radius of me. Now, gas is expensive. You may have noticed this. So rather than drive around aimlessly looking for the de best deal, I made this little chart with all my dimensions that I needed and I called each one up and wrote down the prices. And it looks like this one is the winner. So we're gonna be headed to this hardware store to buy our lumber. Um, this one is a bit cheaper on the two by fours only, but not enough to offset the cost of the other boards. Now these are for a different project. These are for finishing the bracing and the foundation, but I'm gonna get them all at once because why not? And then this one was kind of a, an alternate dimension because this particular store is a little tiny store. I would have loved to support them, but they didn't have what I needed. And when they did have it, it was way more expensive than the other options. So uh, unfortunately we had to nix that one. I'll try that again. I do like to support small business where I can. Unfortunately, I'm not in the financial position to be more altruistic. So we are headed to the hardware store to spend a bunch of money. I have started construction on the closet in my mom's room. And what I'm doing here is essentially extending this bottom plate out. 
and uh, I did it on both sides the same distance. And the space that I'm leaving in the middle is for the closet door. You wanna make sure that your measurements are square before you nail anything into place. Um, yeah. I know that my bottom plate here is 13.25 inches. I know. That's true on both sides. <laughs> so I'm also making sure that it's 13.25 inches or 13 and a quarter inches at the top. I know. And Clara knows. Added bonus of adding these loft spaces is that it's going to essentially brace the upper portions of these walls and add some sheer strength there. Okay. Hi ahead. guys, mom's gonna nail that board in place. I am, I'm gonna double check my measurement first. Make sure that I end up 13 and a quarter inches here. Just about like that. I also have my speed square, so I can double check square, make sure that it's going to be straight up and down, all that good stuff. That looks pretty good. Here we go. I like to step on it so it doesn't go anywhere. Why stick? Always put your glasses on before you use the nail gun. Ta-da! All right. Let's see if it stands up, shall we? Yeah. Um, a wire came out. That's okay, sweetie. That was a lot harder if we're just sitting there. Yeah, that's gonna work just fine. Now, I'm gonna do one more thing. Can you still see me? Yes. I'm gonna do one more thing before I put this in place. And that is I'm going to cut the flooring out so that my um, sill here doesn't go on top of the flooring. I'm doing that because if we ever, for some reason, wanted to remove this flooring, I don't want it underneath any walls. Okay, I have made my cutouts. You'll notice that they're not in the same place. That's because this wall juts out slightly farther than... Uh, this wall <laughs> and we did that to allow for trim around the door So now I'm going to lift the wall up and nail it into place I put my little scraps in here so I have something to secure this to. Did that in two places, but it's gonna be secured at the top as well. What I'm about to do is double check that the measurement from that stud there out here is 27 inches. And then I'm gonna cut a two by four to set on end right there and right there. And that'll uh, secure these boards in place and also be the start of the rafters, if you will, um, that I'm going to set on end here and here. All right, so we do have 27 and a half on this side. Um, what I'm actually going to do is run that at 26 because that'll put the ends of my... Uh, two by four rafters an inch and a half from the edge and then I can run a fascia board as it were all along the front so this one's going to be 26 and then uh, I checked the other one the other one is 27 so that'll be 25 and a half and that's what I'm going to go cut now here's my first rafter as it were going to go across 
You all know I love my little cheater devices. So what I have there is a block of wood that I've screwed into the stud behind it so that I can set this level without uh, having another set of hands. All right, here goes our second one. I'm gonna nail it at the back first. And I only have this scrap of two by four running across the front here just to keep everything flush, and make sure that my measurements are correct. Before I secure this one on the front, which I'm actually gonna do from underneath, I wanna make sure that this is square. So in order to do that, I'm going to set my speed square up here. I can see that I'm going to need to move it to the right just a bit. So now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to mark that. All right, made my pencil mark, got my speed square in on the action there. And now when I go underneath, I'll be able to see <coughs> my mark move this over to it there and then uh, secure it from the bottom all of my rafters are set and uh, now i'm gonna put my fascia board across the front as often happens when you're flying by the seat of your pants i have gone back after further reflection and decided to put in two more pieces underneath my little um, drop board there. That'll support it, but also you'll notice that those boards are facing what is probably the correct direction. <laughs> so um, I went back and just kind of threw those in because it's a little tiny bit of wood. I have the pieces and now I feel a lot better about it. Now this side was not quite as nice because I had messed up the direction of this board and I couldn't go back and take it out because I was overly committed. It would have been a giant hairy mess to take it out. So I had to kind of shim it to make it um, match this dimension of a two by four, which is fine. I did that and then I went along behind it and um, put in the nailer for the sheetrock which is going to be flush all the way across. It wouldn't be an off-grid rising video without repurposing some materials. These are the pallets that the roofing material came on, and um, I am going to take this plywood, which is not very heavy duty, but heavy duty enough to be the flooring for my attic area above the closets. So I've laid the plywood down. This is the closet in mom's room. That is the cupboard door that will eventually cover this space. And it is official. The nailers are in place. So there's something in all the corners for the sheetrock to attach to. Um, it's okay that there are small gaps like this. Uh, that will work out just fine. So let me come over here and show you Clara's loft for this one i really only had to add nailers over here and um, i did that with scraps in between laid on flat and then i also had to add one in this corner and this corner was kind of annoying um, because i couldn't really smoothly put an entire two by four in here so i had to take a scrap of uh two by four and set it on edge and nail it in that way but it worked out just fine and you can see it stops and goes around the outlet there unfortunately i did have a piece break off but the contractor came and looked at it he said it should be fine so i'm taking him as at his word and I think this will work out really well. So once we've got the sheetrock on, I'm gonna come back and do trim, mount my um, cupboard doors on the hinges, and we'll have a nice little cubby that's accessible that replaces the dead space that you normally get in a smaller closet. This is what it looks like now that it's been closed in.
Here's the one in Clara's room. Here's the one in the other room. So thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate all our viewers and we'll be back soon with the next project.